Um, so this question, too, is uh, somewhat formed. <laughs> um, I notice some places in my life and in the lives of the people I surround myself with uh, where desire is complete and I have nothing in the way of it. And then I notice some places where uh, I'm in the way of it. <laughs> um, and I could ask would, the question, would, yeah. Would, would you rather have a complete desire or an incomplete desire? Ah. <laughs> I think until this moment I thought that I wanted a complete desire. <laughs> but I think an incomplete desire. Because it is the moving forward, it is the coming into alignment, in other words, when you are an eternal being, you are eternally incomplete. Yes. And sometimes humans think, well, but I can move from desire to desire to desire, so I'll get it done and then I'll get it done again and then I'll get it done again. And we say, well, that's one way of looking at it, but still it's on your way, on your way, on your way. Yeah. And when you give in to that, there's something so satisfying about the eternal incompletion because it means eternal expansion and therefore the potential even more joy and more and more which is really the mantra of the universe mm -hmm. um, so I'll ask this um, so when I find myself stuck from this place of oh wow having an incomplete desire is a beautiful thing well let's look at it this way if incomplete desire is something that you accept then the word stuck doesn't exist in your vocabulary got it stuck is only the byproduct of the flawed premise of completion right but it does feel fun it feels better to be in motion yeah. but but we, we really want you to stay there just for a moment and feel the dissolving of stuckness in the giving in to the idea of never being complete can't you just feel it sort of fall away mm -hmm. other, it, it's sort of like saying you can't fire me I quit it's like saying I can't be stuck because I'm never done it, it, it's like giving yourself the the benefit of knowledge and I feel there's something else here and I don't know what it is well you started to say something and we interrupted you you were on your way to it can you go back to that um. well what is be what the feeling of stuck is awareness of desire and no current knowledge of what to do in other words it's it's a the feeling of stuck has to do with applying the idea of action yeah. so when I'm stuck I don't know what to do or the things I'm trying to do aren't working yeah so when you take it out of the action conversation and you make it an energy conversation then energy is never stuck energy is always in motion so you're flowing with it or you're not but energy is always in motion so there really is no such thing as stuck there's just dragging your feet a little resistance to the energy so what causes the the log jam to break is the energy gets moving fast enough that the resistance can't hold it or the resistance gets slighter now we're really onto something we haven't said this in this way before but think about any log jam in any river yeah it are, can't you imagine a log jam the beavers have been busy and they've built a they've built a a, a dam to cause the to obstruct the water but then let's say there's a flash flood does the beaver dam really stop it or does the faster moving water carry it in anyway so the feeling of stuckness isn't relevant if the stream is moving fast because the faster moving stream overcomes the stuckness so there's two ways to overcome the stuckness 
either get the stream moving faster or release, uh, unclog it by releasing the resistance. Right. And just by the nature of living life, those things are happening all the time. Most people don't realize it, but they try to get the stream moving faster by flailing about in what they don't want. And what happens is when you approach it by, by talking about what you want, when you apply more emphasis, we're really onto something really good here. When you try harder in the moment of feeling stuck, so you ramp up the energy, you shoot off more rockets, you, you cause the stream to move faster. You also dig in and build a stronger dam. So what happens is there just becomes more tension. The pulling is more, but the not going is more and the pulling is more and the not going is more. And that's why we've been demonstrating. We've been taking the, the law of attraction affirmation cards or any affirmation card and sort of mimicking you when you're outside, <laughs> when you don't have enough money, what it feels like to read the card that says I can be or do or have anything that I want. And you just want to chew the card up into little pieces and spit it out somewhere right. because it it just is amplifying your stuckness rather than amplifying your uh, release you of resistance and so what we've been talking about in all the hours that we've been together on this seminar cruise and where we intend to add more emphasize in the days that are before us if if instead of applying effort to the equation you apply non-effort instead of applying more thinking to the equation you apply less thinking in other words by the deconstructing by the bringing down by the backing off from the specifics what happens is you release the resistance which is the same as as releasing the stuckness and then the natural rhythm of energy that you already have going pulls you through